Uh, hi, so before we get started, I wanted to quickly mention that my webcomic, My Next Door Neighbors, now has its own channel, and I'll be posting chapters on there from now on. Also, a new chapter is on there now, and I'll explain more in that video. And I'll no longer be posting chapters for My Next Door Neighbors on this channel. Make sure to go check out that other channel. Uh, anyways, let's start the video. Hello everyone! In this week's video, I am testing out Parku paint pens and redrawing my sister's art with the same art supplies. Also, a quick disclaimer, Parku is sponsoring this video and they did send me these paint pens to try out, but all thoughts and opinions are my own. So this is a set of 20 paint pens and you get a good variety of colors. Two of the pens are metallic gold and silver, so they are shiny. The barrels for these are pretty thin, like a pen, and they have a pretty fine tip. This set of 20 pens is $15.99 on Amazon, so that is about 80 cents per marker. I would say this is a really good price, especially when compared to the price of other paint markers or pens. So yeah, I feel like you're getting a good deal. So let's test them out to see how they perform. To prep these pens, you need to shake them and then press the pen up and down to make the paint go into the tip. Prepping these actually went pretty quick. The paint entered the tips of the pens pretty quickly. When I was swatching these pens, I was actually really impressed with how flat the colors went down. They were nice and smooth, they dried pretty quickly. I also really like the variety of colors you get. I actually really hope Parku makes another set of these pens, maybe in different color varieties, because I would totally buy them. <laughs> maybe a set with darker colors and a set with pastels. Oh, I really hope they make a pastel set. I would love that so much. <laughs> When I tested how well the paint layered on top of each other, they worked wonderfully. They're really opaque, uh, and yeah, they went over the other paint totally well. Also, the metallic pens are super shiny, so that's really fun. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be redrawing a piece of art my sister created using the same art supplies that she used. I did this once in the past and it was a lot of fun, so I'm excited to be doing it again. My sister was able to draw whatever she wanted. The only thing I told her was that we would need to use the parku supplies for the coloring. I left everything else up to her. So here's the picture she drew. I think the character is really cute and I love the colors she chose. They go so well together. So now I will try to recreate her picture in my style. So my sister drew her sketch and line art on the computer in Clip Studio Paint. So I am doing the same. I was glad when she told me she drew the sketch digitally because I prefer sketching on the computer for finished illustrations. <laughs> I feel like Reagan knew that, so that's why she drew on the computer, so thank you Reagan. <laughs> so I'm starting off with my super rough sketch. I'm just trying to get the shapes in place for how I want the pose and the body to be. The first time I redrew my sister's art, I was trying to copy it almost exactly. This time around, I wanted to let myself experiment and not have to redraw my sister's illustration like to the T. <laughs> so I changed up the pose a little bit, like having the shoulders and the hips kind of angled, like she's sticking out her hip a little bit. I wanted to add a little movement to the pose. I am also going to have her head tilted. During this process, I kept changing which way her head was tilting. I couldn't make up my mind, so you're going to see it change which way it's tilting a lot. <laughs> I think the outfit Reagan came up with is really cute. She is wearing kind of baggy pants. I thought they were shorts at first. Uh, when I was working on this, my sister hadn't colored her picture yet, so I was going off of her line art. Uh, but then she told me that they were pants. <laughs> The character is also wearing a loose top that is tied in the front, along with a bracelet and a choker necklace. Oh, and also, some people have been wondering how my October project has been going. If you don't know, for October, instead of kind of doing Inktober or October or Drawtober, I kind of created this own little challenge for myself where I tried to make a light novel for the month of October. So I wrote a story and then for each day of October, I draw an illustration to go with the story. So by the end of the month, I have like this finished short novel that has illustrations with it. And it's going really well. I'm nearly done with all of the art and I'm super duper excited. It's about my original characters, Koyuki and Tokume and kind of how they meet. Uh, so yeah, I'm super excited. I started working on the story in July 
and I wrote the story for quite a while. And then in September, I did all of the sketching for the art. And now in October, I've been doing all of the inking and all of the finishing stuff. It's really different because with my next door neighbors, I've been working on it for like three years now. And it's a really long project that I've been working on over time compared to this shorter project where I've only been working on it for a few months and it's already almost done. Uh, so it's kind of cool. It's my first ever light novel. If you don't know what a light novel is, it's kind of like a novel, but it has pictures along with it. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to release it in mid-November, hopefully. I don't know how long it will take to get the proof copy back to me, but yeah, I'm hoping mid to late November. Also, the name of the book is going to be The Autumn Festival. It's not super creative, but I feel like it fits the story. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's my little update on my October project. As I was working on my cleanup sketch, I kept feeling like the hand on the right kept looking awkward and I just couldn't get it to look natural. So I decided to bring her hand up. I was going to make her do a peace sign because that's like my go-to hand pose when I don't know what to do with the arms. <laughs> uh, but I decided to change things up and have her do the love hand sign. I'm glad I decided to do this. I feel like it helps balance out the pose and it also gives her arm something to do. <laughs> so after finishing my sketch, I am now working on the line art. Regan and I kept joking that I had the easy job because she did all the planning, she designed the character and the outfit and picked all the colors and all I had to do was copy what she did basically. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for all your hard work, Regan. I always think videos like this are kind of fun because we are sisters, but our art is pretty different and the things we draw and the way we draw things are kind of different. When I was getting the line art ready to print, I lightened the line art in areas that I knew I would be using the paint pens. I didn't want the painted areas to have black line art around them, uh, so I made that line art lighter so the paint could go over the lines. After printing off the picture, I can start coloring. For the skin, I am using Parku markers. I reviewed these in a different video. I actually reviewed two different sets of these, uh, so if you want to check out those videos, they'll be linked somewhere. <laughs> they have a bullet nib and a chisel nib. Now, my sister said that she did intend for the skin tone to be just a little bit lighter, but it turned out darker than expected. When she swatched the marker, she only did one pass with the marker instead of saturating the paper with the ink like she does when she's coloring. With markers, the more ink you use, the darker the color gets. Because the skin tone ended up being kind of darker, it makes the line art kind of hard to see. So when coloring the skin for my version of the picture, I did use a slightly lighter color for the skin. It's not a very big difference, just enough that we can still easily see the line art and it's closer to what my sister was intending to use. I still feel like my sister's version turned out really cute. The eyes really pop. Oh, also, when I was coloring the hand, I forgot to use a lighter color to make it so the palm of her hand is lighter. Uh, so to try to fix this, I used a super light skin tone and then I went over it to try to lighten it because if you use a really light color over a dark color, it'll lighten the color. But then it looked kind of splotchy, so I tried using a lighter color pencil to lighten the color. Uh, it did slightly lighten the palm, but it doesn't show up super well on camera. Like it looks lighter in real life and you can kind of tell the difference. Uh, so yeah, I did try to lighten the palm, but I kind of failed. So yeah, that's something I've been trying to make sure to do when I draw people with darker skin tones, but I forgot in this case. <laughs> For the eyes, I use a mixture of a more orangey yellow and a bright yellow to color them. I also use a very light cool gray to add some shading in the white parts of the eyes. So after coloring all the areas that required markers, I start using the paint pens. I start by outlining the shirt with a darker yellow. I use this kind of like the line art and also for some shadows. I'm glad the tips for these pens aren't super big. It made doing the outline for this pretty easy. However, it did make filling in large areas a little bit tricky, but I did learn a good trick for more easily filling in large areas. If you want to fill a large area more easily, make sure the tip of the pen has a lot of paint in it. 
After a while, I learned that if I press the pen up and down a couple of times before filling in a large area and really fill the tip with ink, it makes filling in large areas a lot easier. Also, when using the pens on paper, depending on the paper you use, it may want to pill up a little bit. I find you can easily avoid this if you don't apply a lot of pressure to the pen. Just let it kind of glide across the paper instead of pressing it into the paper. I found when I did this I was able to get a pretty smooth layer without any bumps. Some papers do pill up easier than others, so I recommend testing these pens with different papers. Like my sister's sketchbook is a mixed media sketchbook, but it hates watercolors, markers, and basically anything that isn't pencils. <laughs> it loves to pill up. Uh, so for this video, I had my sister use some of my marker paper because her sketchbook paper is kind of weird. <laughs> also, if you don't know, Reagan is 14 years old. I personally think she is very talented for her age and she has been improving so much. She is way better than me when I was 14. Uh, but 14 was the year I started getting into drawing, whereas my sister has been drawing for as long as I can remember. <laughs> she says she started drawing because she saw me drawing and she thought it was cool and wanted to do it too. When she was little, she would always come up to me and ask me how to draw things. She still does sometimes. I always joke with her that back in my day, I didn't have anyone to help me and I had to figure out everything on my own. <laughs> I've never taken art classes because I was homeschooled and all I had were YouTube tutorials. And back then there weren't a ton of art videos on YouTube like there is now. Like there are so many art videos uh, compared to back in the day. Whereas Reagan can often ask me questions like, Becca, how do I draw an eye in side view? Or how should I shade this? Or how can I fix this pose? Uh, I am glad I'm able to help her a little bit. And I'm not trying to say my sister is only good at art because I help her a little. She has put in a lot of practice and hard work into it. I just helped her a little bit along the way. Whenever people see that my sister is good at drawing, they sometimes make comments like, Oh, Becca must be teaching her or it must run in the family, which is okay to say, I guess, but at the same time, I feel like it kind of doesn't recognize all the practice that she puts into drawing. Uh, cause she does practice a lot, and a lot of times I feel like she draws more than I do. <laughs> uh, so yeah, she works really hard, and she's been improving a lot. Anyways, now I'm moving on to coloring the hair. I really loved the poofy buns Regan drew. They are really cute. Also, the way I drew the bangs ended up being pretty different. Like I mentioned earlier, for a lot of when I was working on this, my sister's picture hadn't been colored yet. I had seen the colored version by this point, but when I had planned out the hair, I didn't know about all the little hairs my sister was planning to add. Uh, so I tried to add a few little hairs to mine. I also added the little hairs to the buns that kind of stick out. Uh, they're a really fun touch. For the jewelry, I used the silver pen. I really liked adding these little shiny bits. They're a lot of fun. Um, my sister's version had earrings, but the ears in my picture are more covered and they're kind of smaller. Uh, so I decided not to add them because I felt like I couldn't really add them without them being like super huge. Oh, and now I'm filling in the bubble gum. For the background, my sister used the paint pens and at this time I did not have the patience to fill these areas with the paint pens. <laughs> so I used markers instead. It would have taken a really long time with the paint pens because I would need to carefully go around all of the areas. And like I mentioned, the tips are kind of on the smaller side. So yeah, I was weak and I used markers instead because <laughs> it was a lot quicker. Also, instead of using metallic, I decided to just use a light cool gray. I kind of preferred only having the choker and the bracelet be shiny for my version. So do I recommend these Parku paint pens? I say if you've been wanting to try paint pens or paint markers, these are a great option. You don't need to spend a ton of money. You get a good variety of colors and they perform wonderfully. They get five out of five stars from me. I don't have any issues with them. So here are the finished pictures my sister and I created. 
Thank you so much, Reagan, for drawing this picture. I think it is really cute, and I had a lot of fun recreating the picture in my style. Also, thank you so much to my patrons over on Patreon. And I want to give a big welcome to Ohisoka and Jarell. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon community. It means so much to me. Anyways, that is all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!